This is a GCSE video on diffraction of waves, and it is only if you are studying IGCSE, it is only for triple. We have already looked at how waves can be reflected and refracted, but waves can also be diffracted. When a wave travels through a gap, if this is the wave fronts here, the crests of the waves, when the wave travels through the gap, it doesn't usually just continue on like this. If you did this with water, for example, you would notice that after it came through the gap, it spread out like this. And the waves gradually getting wider and wider and wider. Now, this is called diffraction. The spreading out of the waves is called diffraction. Now, diffraction happens to all waves. Um, but the amount that it happens by depends on the wavelength of the waves. So, for example, if you have a, a doorway and you're in a dark room and the doorway is open but it's light outside, you will notice that the light comes in to just this area and you've still got quite dark areas on the left and the right. There is obviously some reflection from the floor and it bounces around and it's not complete blackness here but the light is very clearly sticking to its shadow. However, sound, if there was a sound outside, you, even if you were standing here, you could still hear that sound. That's because the sound is being diffracted as it comes through this gap, the doorway, it's being diffracted much more than the light. Now the reason for that is to do with the wavelengths of the different waves. Now here in this diagram we have two gaps um, and if we have a wave coming at this gap like this this one you'll notice that the wavelength here is similar to the height of the gap and when the wavelength and the size of the gap are the same Diffraction happens a lot. There's a lot of diffraction. The waves spread out a lot. However, when the wavelength is different to the size of the gap, when wavelength is not the same as the size of the gap, there is only a small amount of diffraction. So if the height of the gap is the same as the wavelength or similar, then there will be a lot of diffraction. And if the height of the gap is not the same as the wavelength, they're very different, there will be not very much diffraction. Now, if we go back to our example of the doorway, we said that we could hear sound waves here, but we couldn't really see the light diffracting beyond the doorway. The light was just continuing on. So why can this person hear the sound, but he can't see the light going directly into his eyes unless it's reflecting? Well, that's because the wavelength of the sound waves is similar to the gap. So the sound waves are spreading out much more as they come through the door and the wavelength of the light waves are not similar to the gap, so they are much, sm much, much, much smaller than the gap, so the light just keeps coming straight and it doesn't diffract very much. So the amount of diffraction depends on the size of the gap that the wave is travelling through. This also applies if you have an edge. So an edge is half a gap, so if you have, for example, a hill, and then a house down here. And you've got waves coming from some sort of radio station over here. And the radio waves are coming across like that. 
the radio waves, if the if the wavelength corresponds to the width of the hill, then there will be lots of diffraction. So if the wavelength is similar to the width of the edge, there will be lots of diffraction and the house will have no problem receiving radio signals. However, if we try and send microwaves, for example, with a much, much, much smaller wavelength, for example, satellite TV, this wavelength is not similar to the width of the edge and so it will not diffract anywhere near as much and so the house cannot receive digital TV signal. So the wavelength of the wave enormously affects how much it diffracts. If the wavelength is similar to the width of the edge or the size of the gap, then there's lots of diffraction if the wavelength is very different to the width of the edge or the size of the gap, then there is very little diffraction. And that is what you need to know about diffraction.